So today I wanted to touch up on the coil springs. Uh, I have purchased a bunch of coil springs, which is uh, a mystery bag of sorts of them, and a uh, bunch of them do not have any values. Um, instead of setting up my um, testing equipment to test the springs, I don't feel safe, use, safe using it to test this kind of coils because the the value of these coils is so high that uh, there's a potential danger of breaking things and bones. So I would rather not. Um, so I wanted to try and use um, equations to sort it. And the equation is very simple. I'll just put it right here. So as you can see, it just needs three measurable values, which is the diameter of the coil wire, the the working diameter of the coil and the active amount of coils. Um, I have here a coil that I know and trust the value for. This is a hyper coil that was tested and tagged. So measuring this coil gives you ability to verify that your measurements is correct. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Right, so two things to remember is the coating. So this is uh, powder coated, so it's uh, fairly thick. Um, so you need to compensate about one, I don't know, ten thousandths uh, in diameter. So the one issue is to measure the working diameter of the coil, and you can do it three different ways. First you measure the diameter of the coil and you subtract it from the outside diameter of the coil. That's it. Uh, second one is you measure the inside diameter of the coil and you add the thickness of the wire. And the third one, you take the inside diameter and the outside diameter and you average it. And that is also a good way to measure because it allows you to compensate for the coating thickness. Right, so this coil you can just use a regular uh, measuring device. The diameter of the coil is 0 0.52. So subtracting 10,000, that's metal size of 0 0.51. The or made some measurements, and the outside diameter of the coil is a little bit hard to measure, but try to be exact. Because you want to measure it here, not really here, but caliper doesn't go that far down. I'm just going to try and measure here. And you get 3.52. Uh, double check on this side. Because this is a wire here, but 3.52. Okay, so 3.52 minus 10,000 becomes 3.51. Subtracting the diameter of the wire, that means the working diameter is 3 inch. Once you plug in all of this information into this, and one more measurement I forgot to take is how many active coils. Keep skipping that one for some reason. So first, the easiest way to go by this is to <clears throat> go from this point and uh, I count this one. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this has 10 coils, and because it's ground on each side, that makes it uh, 8 active coils. Now, when you plug in all of this information in, and I already did, so I'm just going to try and pull it up. Uh, you get the values of 450 and this coil has been tested at 447 and it is sold as 450 so it makes it fairly easy to just get an approximate value obviously the thickness of the coating makes a difference so you have to be careful with that um, but overall, you can just measure any co any coilover 
or any coil of this type straight ground sides or open ends yes yeah <clears throat> and uh, yeah that's a uh, the more you know thank you for watching all right